I'm Brie here in Dallas at Downtown Neiman Marcus. So eco-friendly clothing put you on the map and what made that your focus? Well, what made that my focus is that that's all I knew how to work with. You know, all I know how to do is sew a little straight stitch. I learned from my grandmother, who taught me when I was 16 years old on my mom's 1950 Singer sewing machine. So I would buy these vintage pieces of clothing from, you know, thrift shops, mm -hmm. take them apart, and then sew them back together. And, and then we'd silk screen these graphics on them, and that really is how Libertine began. Wow. Uh, uh, the shop called Fred Siegel in Los Angeles yes, bought them. Fred they sold out of the first batch of 20 shirts in 45 minutes. Wow. I called the next day and said, we need 25 more. And really within three months, Vanity Fair was calling to do it. It just happened so, it's incredible. so. incredible. It like blew up in your face. It, it really did. Yeah, within three years, Carl Lagerfeld was coming to the studio mm. and buying every single piece of Libertine we had in the studio. Just incredible. Who was the first A-lister that you styled? Well, huh, well, well, <laughs> I have a very funny story. Brad Pitt bought a lot of the, our shirts at Fred Siegel and they called and said, Brad Pitt wants more of these shirts. I had this little dog in pocket that would pee on anything. He oh, no. peed on Brad Pitt's shirt sleeve. <laughs> so, so I washed the sleeve off and blew, blew it dry with a hair dryer and took it to Fred Siegel, still slightly you know, wet with the water. Oh my I God. Thought, well, Brad Pitt only knew. <laughs> my dog kind of designed his shirt a little bit for him too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when people would call asking for the clothing, we thought, why would we give some to some celebrities while others are buying it? So let's just across the board, you know, just say we're not loading them out. We're a tiny little company, we're trying to make a living. Yeah. These people can buy them if they want it. So we've, not, we've just never embraced it, except Damien Hurst. When he wrote, we sent him a box of clothing. Mm -hmm. And then six months later, he sent us a painting each. Oh my God. Yeah. It really has been an amazing journey. Yeah, I can only imagine. One amazing thing after another happened. Mm -hmm. So what inspired your rock and roll theme for the 2015 spring show? I wouldn't exactly call it rock and roll. I think it's just like all of our clothes. They're just sort of celebratory clothes. I met these raver kids at this festival and they were wearing tons and tons of raver beads. They call them candy. And um, I asked them about them and asked them if I could buy these beads off them and they were very insulted and said, no, 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 our friends gave us these, we can't buy them. Mm. So I went home and bought thousands of these candy beads on Etsy and all summer made these raver necklaces wow. and the sunglasses you may have seen out there with the yeah. beads on them. That was a big inspiration. And it's cool to break off and not be like the basic. A hundred percent. We've yeah. never been a basic and we never will. I've never been a minimalist. My house was minimal for five minutes and then I brought everything from the project. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't live this way. Oh my, the, my, my motto is put two more things on than you think you need and then put another. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you're similar to me, Sam, in this way that you respond to people that really go for it. Yeah. You know, it's, it takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there and be different. I'll walk down the street and people will give me dirty looks, but I have to stand Who true. Cares? I have to stand true to myself, but that takes courage. <laughs> Everything about you is amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. And thank you. I love the collection, and I'm totally gonna have to get this jacket. Oh, so well, into it. thank you so much. Yes. Please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, like me on Facebook, and you would be crazy enough to follow on Instagram at Official Libertine. Official Libertine, yeah, please do. We keep it real fun over there. Thanks everyone, Thank pleasure. You. See you next time. <laughs>